What is up everybody and welcome back to Hearthstone! So, uh, Hearthstone just had a pretty big update where they added an entire new game mode that I thought we'd play a little of. It's called Tavern Brawl, which are, you know, new challenges, cool things like you have to, you know, use a specific deck or a specific hero or there'll be some sort of weird rule and it changes every week. So this one ends in three days. I already played this one a few times and it's actually really, really cool and I thought I'd share it. So, we play as one of the two bosses, one of two of the bosses that uh, were in the newest expansion, which actually I played through and it was great and added a bunch of great new cards. And we get to play as one of them, and it's epic, because we start with like 60 health and like, and like all these cards that are just super overpowered and would never make it into the actual game. Um, so yeah, there's two of them. I want to maybe do two episodes of each. That was what I was planning. I've already played a little bit, so... Alright, so we're Nefarian. <laughs> we're playing a bunch of lava and everything. I love this. This is it's so fun. So I played both of the heroes just to see kind of how they play. So uh Nefarian plays the dragons. So cards that work when we have dragon cards. And also we get to actually start with five mana. So, this is actually not that bad of a hand. And yeah, there, there's some just crazy overpowered cards, like this one, the Chromactic Drake. Four mana for a 7x7. Seven seven. So we start with 30 health and 30 shield, and he starts with 60 health. So now, Ragnaros has a weapon. And when that weapon is destroyed, his hero power changes to deal 8 damage to a random enemy. Which is just like the normal card, Ragnaros, that's what he does. Uh, his normal... Hero power is he summons a 5x1 Magma Rager. Is he going to start? Go. Threaten him. <laughs> Behold, the true power of Nefarian. Right. So yeah, he has the ma uh, Molten Rage where he summons a little 5x1 Magma Rager. He plays a bunch of fire cards. And to be honest, I liked Ragnaros a lot better than Nefarian. But uh, our hero ability is adds a random spell. Come on. Hurry up with your turn. We add a random spell from any class into our hand, and then that spell costs zero, which is really good. Uh, so what are we going to play here? So we play this. The start of your turn, deal one to all other minions. Okay. We got our Drake. We could play this thing and destroy his Flame Imp. Um, we could do this and gain 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it, 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 took us, it took me a little while to actually play out like some of the turns at first, but that's, that's kind of why I wanted to play them first before showing it off. Cause, like I needed to read all the cards. There's a bunch of just new random cards. Like this isn't an actual card in the game, and it's just so overpowered too. I'd like to see some of these cards actually balanced though and added. Like this, a two two mana for a six attack, six health. Uh, like I was saying, yeah, we started with five mana, which is really cool. All right, what are we gonna do here? So I say what we do is we do this. And then we're gonna get a random spell that goes down to zero. Oh, put a copy of random card in your opponent's hand, okay. So he has this in his hand. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a two, three elemental with taunt. It's pretty good. Also not in the real game. The, some of them are like this card, this card, this card. Those are actually all really, you know, real game cards. Let's just run this thing into him. So pretty much we have like a countdown. Once his hero ability becomes deal eight damage to a random enemy, we have to be really careful. We have a bunch of cards that will actually summon a bunch of enemies, or a bunch of uh, minions to our field. Okay, he doesn't destroy that. Yeah, we have a lot of cards that will summon like just like eight minions, so then we have a less, you know, a smaller chance that it'll actually get to be able to hit us. Okay, ooh, that's a really good card. If you're holding a dragon, destroy a legendary minion. That's actually a real card. Um, and there's a bunch of legendaries, and that's kind of why that's so good. So I say we play this, and then immediately gets to play that afterwards. See how, yeah, he only gets two mana for this turn, so we'll be able to knock him around a little. Hopefully. He may have something just really, really good in his hand. Um, I'm trying to think of other, like, the strategies for this. Oh, whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2-3, and this deals one damage at the start of my turn. So we could play, play those together and hope that we can get a 2-3 a out. Uh, I think I might do that next, because we'll have eight mana, so I'll do five plus one plus two. And that'll be eight. Come on. Come on. I like all the shouts are amazing too. Alright, he played a seven or six by six. And he's gonna just keep attacking. Cause yeah, you really he really just wants to get that hero ability already. Okay. 
Here's what we're gonna do. Whenever your opponent plays a card, gain two attack. Holy crap. That's actually pretty good too. Let's instead, yeah, let's do that. We'll we'll grab a Oh, mortal coil. Alright, do one damage to a minion, and if it kills it, draw a card. Uh let's attack his face and then end it there. Because we still have one turn where he can't use his um deal eight to a random minion power. Um, are we holding a dragon? Oh shoot, we're not. Alright, so this actually isn't gonna work unless we get a dragon in our hand. Oh, and this not neither this one. Oh crap, we played all of our dragons, didn't we? Shoot. <laughs> Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Come on. I don't know what I should say. Should I say sorry? <laughs> he just laughs. That's awesome. Yeah, so the expansion that had these guys in them was great. It added a lot of new cards. I have most of them now. Oh, no, I have all of them. Yeah, yeah, because if, as long as you just bought the whole expansion, you just got all the cards. All right, so there's the card that we have. So we get plus two attack because he played a card. Very good. Um, okay, so is he a, he's a legendary, so we can play this and destroy that, because now we just drew, our cards cost three less. Like, that is just crazy overpowered. But we're going to instead destroy him. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Ooh, give a minion plus two, four, and spell damage plus one. Um, that'd be really good, because then this will do t deal two damage to a minion. So let's give that to this guy. There we go. He's only at 30. Alright, so he's about to be able to play or use his hero ability to deal 8 damage once he attacks us one more time. And that's like, like we have a really strong advantage in the beginning because we have like 5 mana up front, but then he, later game, later game he becomes a lot stronger with that. So he's going to probably use it and destroy something, or hopefully it actually hits me. Nope, okay, destroyed my dragon. At least it wasn't this guy with the 8 damage. Let's see what he's got. This will deal 2 damage to a minion. So if he plays, I don't know, a little flame imp or something, we can get rid of that. We, we, we I think we're gonna summon Death Rattle. Summer, summon Emperor, who? Emperor Torison? Who's that? I don't know. Uh, alright, so we can do a lot of damage to him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this guy. There we go, our cards cost like nothing now. Which is awesome. Let's grab this. Change your minion attack to one. Eh. Should we should we do it? Yeah, let's why not? Okay, we can play this guy, and then we're just gonna go right for face. And then we're also play we're just gonna spam the field. Now, hopefully, he doesn't have this one card that gives him a brawl, which destroys all minions but one. Oh actually no no, because that, that card costs like it costs like four to play, and the brawl costs five. So he needs like nine. I don't know what what I think em Emperor Torsen is a... Oh, 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 my god. Emperor Torsen is when... It, it's like at the end of each turn, he makes all of his cards, like, cost one less or something. Ooh, thanks for powering up Atromedes. <laughs> These are just such awesomely, like, crazy strong cards. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this is an actual card, and it's being played... It's being played way too often, and almost every single deck has it. At the end of the turn, all of his cards are reduced by one. I think he loses, to be totally honest. Oh, he's gaining... All right, he's actually getting a lot of armor. But every time he plays a card, we have another plus two attack. And he's up to 12 now. We need to do 26 damage. We have more than that. Way more than that. Well played. Oh, yeah, and he summoned him. See, like this. Fill your board with two two uh, minions. Well, he's dead. Boom. 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 And... Awesome. Woo! Victory! Okay. So that was Nefarious. A little short, little quick video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. The next episode we'll be uh, playing as Ragnaros. And then I think we're going to do another one of Nefarious, another one of Ragnaros. Because there's a lot of cards in these decks and I just kind of want to show them off. That, you know, they're really fun and they're really cool. And I'll be probably doing some more of these brawls in the future. If you guys like them, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and until the next episode, I will see you all later.